Hey, uh, I'm Olivia, and I wanted to say that I have been very, very, very blessed by priests and seminarians on social media. One of the ways that I have been blessed through the presence of priests and seminarians in the media is that I've gotten to know some of the priests and seminarians in my diocese on social media. So the priests and seminarians on Twitter have blessed me, I think, in a number of ways. My life has been blessed by Catholic social media. I think that having the presence of priests and seminarians on Instagram is really important because especially as a young person I can really find ways to relate to them. The presence of priests and seminarians on social media has allowed me to see priests and seminarians in real life as more approachable and easier to talk to. Hey I'm Lisa and I just wanted to say a huge thank you to especially to all of our seminarians but to all the priests religious sisters, seminarians, all of you who use social media to share your joy about your vocation. I've only had a Twitter for about a year and a half now, but in that time I've gotten to interact with some really good and cool um, seminarians and priests. You know, and I didn't really have much of a face-to-face -face relationship with the priests in my parish before that happened, um, but I think getting to know some of y'all as people who have full lives, you know, um, from a distance kind of helped me to bridge that gap face to face. Here's the reality, guys. There are a lot of people out there and you don't get to talk to them, which is a shame because I think one of the core components of your vocation is calling people to encounter with Christ. One of the incredible ways that you can do that is through the media. Especially now, social media is how you can reach tons of people. And I think that having prison seminars on Instagram can reach more people who Oh, Catholic. It was a seminarian that sent me my first Catholic Bible, which was really cool. Somehow I don't really know when I followed like a bunch of these Catholic priests and seminarians and like they post really encouraging and like inspirational things on Twitter. What I love is that the men who are engaging in this project are really showing us the human side to our priests. They're just like you and I. They have struggles, they have likes, they have hot sauce preferences, who knew? They're just really showing us who they are as people and they want to let us into their life a little bit like that. Thank you for weightlifting, for showing us your socks, for taking us along to mass with you and to adoration, for sharing your joy. When you share your life with us, you inspire us. You inspire us to be more faithful, more joy-filled and more um, generous with sharing our love with the world around us just like you are. Think of the lives that you can touch, the messages you can share that are pulling people deeper into relationship with God. Hi, I'm Barbara from Argentina and I just wanted to share with you my experience listening to the Big Tree podcast. I'm mother of two and one on the way and I love to listen to the podcast while I... I'm able to find priests and seminarians, people to pray for, people to pray for me and my family and uh, give us some spiritual direction through uh, things like Twitter and Instagram and podcasts. And I'm so grateful that these gentlemen have taken time out of their lives uh, to teach, to lead, to mentor. I've just had so many priests and seminarians answer my questions. Um, I'm in the process of joining the church and I don't always have direct access to my priest or to my RCIA director or deacon and Twitter has come through, let me tell you that. Part of the reason why I'm, I still am in the church and still believe in the fullness of truth in the Catholic Church is because of the priests and seminarians I've met on Twitter. What you've done is you helped to see your love for Christ, you helped instruct us, you really also helped to see humanity. Uh, and when you're sharing about Chick-fil-A, for example, and little things like that, uh, I think that's a beautiful thing. And they've really helped me a lot in my prayer life, more than I like, realize. John de Guzman, for example, when you shared the Breviary Views campaign and got someone like me to pray the Liturgy of the Hours, uh, that's made such an enormous difference in my prayer life. And another thing, honestly, is that the presence of priests and seminarians on social media helps me to remember y'all in my prayer more, um, in a more intentional way, uh, because I have more of a finger on the pulse of you know, your concerns and what you're dealing with. I do want to say thank you for sharing your struggles too so that we can remember to pray with you and just thanks for being a light. You bless the media and uh, you give me hope. So thank you and God bless.